Good morning. Vista in Ometepe. And we're about to get breakfast. They have eggs benedict and beans and rice and tortillas and coffee. All the coffee you can drink. Yeah, having my coffee. Yeah, my new London buddy upstairs told me you can drink all the coffee you want to in the morning. So And there's hot water in the showers. I've already had my morning shower. It's the first hot water shower I've had since I've been back in Nicaragua and uh it's like luxury. I just want Wi Fi the Yeah, Wi Fi room okay. temperature water's fine. Just something to entertain you when there's nothing to do there's always something to do in the jungle anyway we're gonna go get breakfast and then i think today we're going to tour the property it's a farm essentially so everything that's grown on the property you can pick and eat we have jackfruit growing like right out the door um, mangoes I I saw bananas papayas, ginger will, it's not mango season but yeah if you go to the kitchen here there's like a big bowl of fruit and everything that they've just picked and they're growing all sorts of things. We're right at the base of the Madeiras volcano. I think we're gonna try to do some little volcano hikes maybe later, but in this episode, I think we're gonna just see what Selvista has to offer right here. All right, I'm hungry, let's go. jungle house forest view right now and we are about to move to a new place so I'm packing up just got off the tour this place is kind of amazing I love it there you go so it's just olive oil pasta but I used olive oil that they made here that came with the place and then when we were on our tour of the place she had some Two different kinds of oregano. One's real leafy. She uh, did she say grew well, and she handed it around while I kept the leaf. And I just crushed it up best I could with a knife and uh, broke it down, and then that's what the garnish is. So let's see. I want to know what you think about it. It's good. We need salt. bacon strip all right i think we're gonna go hike up this volcano it's um called madeiras and it's the mellower hike between you know the two volcanoes that are out here the other one is called conception now we're not going to summit this volcano you can get a guide you can summit it and go for a swim at the crater lake at the top that's all really cool i just don't think that we have time um but from selvista there are trailheads where you can actually just go up and like find viewpoints and petroglyphs even. There's petroglyphs all over this island. I can't wait to go see some. So let's do it. I think it might rain because it's kind of a rainforest, but we're going anyway. We've only got a couple of hours, so we're just gonna hit it. dog as a tour guide but we were told always oh, stay to the right but Loki just went to the left I hope you're right oh this is Finca Magdalena Loki estas seguro hay un hombre okay vamos okay so the guy here at Finca Magdalena says that um it's like two hours to the viewpoint that we wanted to go to and it's already pretty late in the day so i don't think we're gonna have time to get all the way to the viewpoint but 
he said if we go up here that if we take a left at the big tree in about 30 minutes we should hit the petroglyphs and that's good enough for us right now we're happy with that so that's where we're gonna go question is does our dog know that we want to go see petroglyphs and not the viewpoint so we might have to tell him you look tired is this gonna hold uh, us yeah, are we not supposed to be on this you look cautious and there's a path you don't blindly follow a dog yeah you do this one you looks know. smart yeah and almost laid you over a termite infested bridge no he looked hesitant to be fair all right look he found the monkeys so let's just go see the monkeys may as well for you're already here thank you found the monkeys okay so they just pooped on me they're like so evil they don't like you they start pooping on you and peeing on you throwing stuff oh my god they're all in on this they're not down with loki that's for sure so loki had enough of the monkeys and i got pooped on did is there poop on me or did it just kind of roll off moving. no i mean they're big oh uh, like, there's poop right there oh What? Petroglyphs. Donde? Ah, yeah. Okay. We'll keep going then. Yeah! What? That. Oh. The lake. Huh? The lake. It's beautiful. Oh. That's what I ran by? You don't care. I came all the way back here. I thought it was a petroglyph. Oh. Come on. Let's go. Oh. You just wanted me back here again. I don't know which way to go. Maybe this guy does. Hola. Como estas? Uh, si. Cual uno? Tu sabes? Este... Hay uno allá? El otro. Ahí, eso. Okay. Y luego caminas un poco, un poco más. Y okay. Un poco, un poco más. Okay. Ah, oh, I see petroglyphs everywhere. Thank you. Good God. Hi, so this is our little education center that we run here within the project of Cell Vista. We started off about two years ago during the pandemic as a small school for local and expat children. And we've since branched off in the last couple of years and now we have this small little humble education center. So we teach about 30 students a week, um, 12 hours of classes for each student. and. We're just looking to see if anyone can help and send any donations for books, anything, any stationery, any supplies that could be useful here. Um, always really great to receive. We teach bilingually. We teach subjects such as uh, science, art, math, the STEM subjects, and we're always looking to expand our library collection. 
So if anybody has a way to be bringing any donations down here when they travel to Nicaragua, that would be absolutely fantastic. And if you'd like to sponsor a student, it's $20 a month for their whole classes and their materials that they need.